Imagine that one is a body. Imagine that one is a soul. And that a spirit. And he said it. Those ones. These are living beings. And when it came to this one, I am the one who brought the bread. But these three people are in one. And I sent the life giving spirit. And you know what brought him? It's here. Where is this place? Where is this place? It is in our spirit. And what brought you is that this one, uh, he redeemed that one to redeem that one, to use that one. But that one, because he's still having a body, he doesn't like to know very much the things of my glory and listen to the very special thing I brought. A special thing. Uh, Jesus Christ brought a special thing. God the Father thought about it and because we talk about these things often here. And the life-giving spirit came and spoke with that spirit and he said in, in, in Revelation those who have ears, that full person, if you have ears, you know a man has two kinds of ears. He hears from that visible part. And even in the spirit, have ears. when the spirit speaks, that spirit hears. When the, the body speaks, that's the body who hears. When the spirit speaks, that's the spirit that hears. And that one, we are in the middle, lingering. We, we look for the glory of God. But sometimes I also want to eat. I want the glory of God. But I also want to, to sleep. I want to go to pray. But I am feeling weak. I want to sleep a little bit. You know, here there is a conflict. Speak. Uh, uh, do as if you're talking to her. Do not go to pray. You don't need to go to pray. Don't you know that in prayers, that's where you get your strength? Don't you know that in, your, in, in prayer, that's where you get your strength? So speak at the same moment. You are even ugly. You, you want to go anywhere. You are my child. You are created in my image. So they both speak at the same time and it can be total confusion. And you think, do you think that they are treating me this way because of the behinds? Do you think it's because of the behinds or the bats? Did you see them? Did you see anything behind me? <laughs> did you see anything? What did you see? That can make them follow me and take my hand and spoil me and bring the breakfast. Oh, what do you think that is? What do you think that is? What can do that? Unless and only God in heaven. He listened to what he said. I am the king. If you pray, say, Father God who is in heaven, may your name be glorified. Hallowed be your name. And say this, may your kingdom come. May your kingdom come. When the kingdom of God comes, when the kingdom comes, you see the very king of that kingdom. Where the king is, there is the kingdom. Where the king is, there is the kingdom.
Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am ready for the presence of God. I have already felt the presence of God. Father God Arihano. Our Father in heaven is here. Father God Arihano. Father God is here. Among the things that I managed to learn, I realized that something that can't be too much is the love. And everything else can be too much. And when you become too much, become bad. But love, it's never too much. Mm-hmm. And I think the heart is, is, is wide enough you will allow me for the sake of time you know that I, I really do talk for me to be able to speak them that quick so I will need to go quick I'm going to read the verses of today and we will drive you from the things that we talked about yesterday so that we are advance together. You remember our big theme? Those who were here yesterday becoming a sacrifice or a spirit that flows or give life life but the life of God and it flows where in the marriage and in our families like our Lord Jesus Christ that is the wide theme today I want us to read some scriptures uh, but basing ourselves on the answer that we gave in that big theme I brought in a sub theme and I worked from there yesterday I said how can we flow life how can we channel the flow of life in our families so those who were here yesterday we said that it's when we allow the spirit that gives life to lead us the spirit that, leads, that, that flows life is the one that knows well how we can flow life and channel life in our family so yesterday we say that he's ready to grab our hands and walk us towards there and he really took us there and before I tell you how he brought us let me tell you about today I said that if you want to channel that life we need to, to have the thirst for that presence of God you remember that we talked about it yesterday but it, it's coming back so the scriptures that we're going to use I want to read quickly because I will not read it again <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Luke 24, 15, as they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them. 16. But they were kept from recognizing him. 17. He asked them, What are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One one of them named, named Cleopas asked him are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days what things he asked about Jesus Christ of Nazareth he was a prophet powerful in words and deeds before God and all the people 
and all the people. He said to them, how foolish you are and how, and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. 26 verse, did not the Messiah have to suffer this things and then enter his glory? 28. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued as if he were going further. As if he were going further. But they urged him sternly, stay with us for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread and gave things, broke it and began to give it to them. 21. Then the eyes were open and they, were, they recognized him and he disappeared from their sight. He disappeared from their sight. 32. They asked each other Oh, we're not. Our hearts burning. That's why he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us while they were still talking about this. Verse 36. Jesus himself stood among them and say to them, peace be with you. 41, and while they were still did not believe it, because of joy and amazement, uh, with amazement, he asked them, do you have anything to eat here? Then he opened their minds, I like that, then he opened their minds. Above above he opened their minds <laughs> so they could understand the scriptures. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, I wish I could wait point to talk about the second point. Let, let me just talk about it because I may not come back to it. Point the second point says, he says, let's allow the spirit that gives life to train us on how to give life in our families. And listen to the scriptures. In 1 Corinthians 15, verse 45 and 46. You know you no longer read the Bible. I'm taking you back there. It's not all of you, some of you. Me too, sometimes I skip. So it is written, the first man, Adam, became a life-giving being. The last Adam, a life-giving spirit. The spiritual did not come first, but the natural, and after that, the spiritual received the word of God. It's only the Catholics who used to say that they really speak well. Receive the word of God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! This evening, I am about to burst. As you see me this way, I, I just put on this dress for that reason. All the clothes can't fit me. Even this one, I am not fitting in it. I am squeezing it. <laughs> Yesterday we say that this spirit that gives life wants to take us and teach us how to flow life in our families because we don't know how to do that. And he reminded us that he is the one who came and took us from sin by his grace. And his grace took us 
and made us believe in him and we believed in our Lord because of his grace and that very grace plus the faith caused our heart to be satisfied and we started praising him and he's the only one taking us and listen the reason why he's the only one taking us he speaks about him he said I am I, I am the way I am the truth that and I am the light that will speak oh, about oh, oh Jesus, 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 Jesus said this I am the one who is the way to I am the one who is the truth that you find today and I am the very one the life that you need the spirit that gives life is myself Amen. And because you don't know where you're going, come and I take you there. And he put on us a grace. And this amazed us. And me too. You know, me too. Even me. Even the very one, the little me. Me too. Oh. And he took, he took us into the faith. And we trusted him. We had faith in him. After having faith in him, he taught us how to praise, how to be grateful. And we started praising him. He gave us his anointing. I don't have a car, but I have some salvation. I don't, I, I don't like anyone to praise and worship. Even if I don't know my real father, but I have a heavenly father. Do I have a God? And this satisfies my heart. And we start praising. And as we start praising, he also starts telling us now, Nadej, uh, do you know the one you praise? The one who gave you the grace? Do you know that one? Do you know the one who gave you faith? Yeah, well, that very God, do you know that God? You say yes. Oh, I heard about him. Yeah, he divided the sea. I heard about him. He sent his son so that he may take me away from sin. I heard about him. And he taught us how to worship. Oh, you are the one who took us from sin. You are the only holy one. You are the one who separated us from the smoke. You separated us. You separated us. And as we still worship him, I am talking about the things of He is coming. And we say, when you pray, he sent angels. But when you worship, he come himself. He come himself. He doesn't send angels. He come himself. And he came. And when he started to come, people say, we feel the presence of God. God. There is the presence of God in this place. Here there is the presence. When they say there is a presence of God, some people say that when he comes, they say that the owner is coming. And Jesus did not leave us there. He continued. He said, you know what? The presence of God is not the very thing. Continue until you see my glory. Don't stop and until you see his glory. And today I'm coming to tell you that the glory of God, what is the glory of God? It is the very nature, he is the very nature, the character of God, his strength, his strength, his might, his they talked about him. Oh, they talked about him and said, He said, Praise God because he's good and his mercy endures forever. Amen. Praise God because he's good. Because he's good. 
Even when it's not going well. Even when you don't have a child yet. Even if you're not yet at that position. Even if there's something that is there. But his mercy endures forever. Amen. Oh, I pray that God may bring us to his glory where we see him, where we can contemplate him. Oh, oh in the second chronicles. In the second chronicles. Oh, God. I just forgot the chapter. <laughs> I just forgot the chapter. Let me just leave it. I will tell you later. The one called Solomon, when he was worshipping God, and he brought people in the house of God, as he was worshipping God, they worshipped. And he told the Israelites, approach, come, and he gave sacrifices. He worshipped. They all sacrificed. And as they were the fire came from heaven and filled the place, filled the temple to the point that those who were in the house <laughs> were not able to stand. <laughs> ask me who were not able to stand. <laughs> the priests, <laughs> the pastors, <laughs> those very ones <laughs> who are thinking that they are still strong, <laughs> even themselves could not stand <laughs> <it> <laughs> because <laughs> the glory of God was in the temple. <laughs> Oh, I pray that today that the prophecy that mommy just spoken will be accomplished in your life because of what she said. She said this glory take it to your home. That's what she said. She said take this glory to your home. Take that glory to your home. Take that glory to your home. That's what she said and I heard her. I really heard it and I said I will take it to my home. I pray that the nature and the character and the might and the strength and the mighty God come in the, the door of your house are you aware? Oh. Are you aware? And come in the door of your house. And you will see how things are going on in, in the dishes. You will see how things are going to sort itself in the money. And you will see how that husband is going to change. Hey, and you think do you think that they are treating me this way because, because of the behinds do you think it's because of the behinds or the bats did you see them did you see anything behind me <laughs> did you see anything what did you see that can make them follow me and take my hand and spoil me and bring the breakfast? Oh, what do you think that is? What do you think that is? What can do that? Unless and only God that is in heaven. He listened to what he said. I am the king. If you pray, say, Father God who is in heaven, may your name be glorified. Hallowed be your name. And say this, may your kingdom come. May your kingdom come. When the kingdom of God come, when the kingdom come, you see the very king of that kingdom. Where the king is, there is the kingdom. Where the king is, there is the kingdom. Oh, daddy, you have revelations. Oh, daddy, you have revelations. Oh, where did they come from? God is amazing. The life-giving spirit, the king himself, come to your house and take you. That one, take him at your home. Oh my God. 
the devil is a liar. The kingdom of God, the glory of God, he wants to separate us from that. He wanted it several times. And you know that he tried it. That is why you no longer have the thirst to look to search, to seek him. That's what he wanted. He tried. This is what we read. Even what we read in Luke. All the disciples that had been with Jesus. Which means they lived with the king and the heaven and the glory of God. They, they have seen dust opening the eyes of the blind. They have seen the brain being multiplied. They have seen the people walking. They have seen the they lived with the presence of God and one day they were separated with the presence of God and they stayed alone. That's what we read in the scriptures. When they were alone, when they didn't have him anymore, but they still hear him, they were still remembering that. They were talking about it. They were sharing. May you read the Luke chapter 12. 24, all the chapter. They were talking about what happened. They said that Mary said that he has risen. Even Mary Magdalena have said it. Even Simon Peter said it. But these things, can this be real? I said, do you, don't you experience this time where you wonder, oh God, I know that you used to be there. I know that you used to you even did good to me one day, but oh God, you forgot about me. We sometimes get to that place. Ah, uh, that husband is delaying to get saved. This wife is delaying to get saved. I am delaying to get married. I have so many years. I am aging. Oh my God. But as they were talking, because of the thirst that I had, I pray that even in your weakness, you say, Jesus, I don't see you, but I know I have this thirst. I still desire you. Talk about him even if you feel like you're not mastering it. Listen what happened. As they were still talking to each other, he came and asked them, you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What did Jesus do? And he entered into this conversation. I am starting to prophesy. He entered, he entered in the situation. And he entered in the presence. Today I say, may he surprise you. May he surprise you as he surprised them. And he pretended as if he didn't know. What happened? Oh, the Lord is good. What happened? What are you talking about? But he was like, you are the only one <laughs> in Jerusalem who doesn't know what happened. Our Lord, <laughs> the one who we're expecting <laughs> salvation <laughs> from to do good to us. Oh, those wicked ones took him and crucified him. The things that you sometimes say. You know, I used to pray. I prayed for a lot, so long time. The word of God says, do not worry. And you say, I have believed that too, since 85. Don't you remember the prophecy that that You know, these things I said all the 40 days, all the 40 days. Hey. All the 40 days, all the 40 days, they speak about the very same thing. I don't see any change. But you know, I know, I know, I know, I know he did it for us. He did it for others. But it is not me. As you're still lifting your hands, he surprises you with his presence. What are you talking about? He asks you, what are you talking about? You know, I was saying that I have no no, no one even asked my name. Do you know what I'm 
morning. You know that lady. That small lady they say bring to her breakfast and I. You see me as you still talking. He came. I pray that God may come in to I pray that he intervene. I prophesy that he intervene. That he intervene. Oh. Listen to what he told them. You foolish. Even now, don't you know what happens in the presence of God? I am here. I am here. I am here. And I did not show myself to the Pharisees. Not even the Sadducees. I came to you guys because you're the one who are looking, are looking for me. You are the one who are talking about me. You are the one who are looking for me. You are the one who are thirsty. You are the one who are hungry. Fasting, and I know what you want. That is why I am coming to show myself to you. I cannot resist. I have to come and show you my glory and show you that I am here. I have a clothes of the glory of heaven. He was clothed with the skin of heaven. All the glory was with him. They saw him imagine. Oh. And he manifested himself to them. And he let them know that he was the one. And he opened their minds and said, you know, he was the one. After he left, they realized it was him. Did you know that our hearts were warm when he was there? And they ran. They went to tell others. And when they reached there, they left. Uh, and Masoro, things were hot. But they realized things were hot. There was a conflagration. And they were talking. They were also talking. The, uh, uh, Mary saw him. Even Peter saw him. They started talking. And even those who are started talking and saying, We also saw him. We also saw him. And they were still talking. He came. Oh. He came. He said, You have no, you are hungry. I have seen it. I have seen it. And I am here. And after that, he manifested himself to them. He showed them himself. He showed them. He showed them. I open their minds. He opened their minds. May God open your heart. May God open your eyes. May God open your eyes. May God open your eyes so that you see. That you may see him. That you may see him. That you may see him. And after you just saw him, things are going to change immediately. After, after when you just see him, things will change. And he took us. Uh, did you hear what he says in Corinthians 15, 45? He brought us back to that scripture. When Paul was in pain, he talked to the Corinthians and he told them, are you doubting about his death? Are you doubting that Jesus rose again? He said that if you are even doubting, stop those things of fasting then. Go and eat and drink and so that we may die. Let us go eat and drink and wait for the day. But if you believe <laughs> that Jesus rose, I want to tell him that he will not rose again. But he became a life-giving spirit because after creating the body, that first Adam, he was a living being. everyone who has risen, he has risen as a spirit, a life-giving spirit. Stand up and I will show you what to do. Stand up and I will show you what to do. Stand up and I will show you. 
abantu batatu bakuyangana bakaza batansumba hano uh, can three people who are not taller oh, than me can Basi come? Basi At least someone my height. Ah, chan. That one is really yeah, tall. Ransumba. That <laughs> man is tall. Ah, undi, ut- na na mure mure. Ah, someone in the middle. <laughs> hey. No Hallelujah. It's okay. Don't you tell uh, did I tell you? Tell you? Uh, listen to what Paul said. He said, if you believe that he has risen, he, he has risen with glory and might. He is strong. And he did it in us. Imagine that one is a body. Imagine that one is a soul. And that a spirit. And he said it. Those ones. These are living beings. And when it came to this one. I am the one who brought the bread in But these three people are in one. And I sent the life-giving spirit. And you know what brought him? It's here. Where is this place? Where is this place? It is in our spirit. And what brought you is that this one, uh, he redeemed that one. To redeem that one. To use that one. But that one, because he's still having a body, he doesn't like to know very much the things of my glory. And listen to the very special thing I brought. A special thing. Uh, Jesus Christ brought a special thing. God the Father thought about it and brought it. He said, oh, the first Adam, you have failed. But the second Adam, I am going to show you. I, he came. And he came in there. And when he came there, in reality, if things were easy, if that one was not there, he would come to that very one and do it easy. Do you know what is there? Our thoughts, our thoughts, our emotions, our choices, everything lives there in the soul. And even that place, God came to redeem it. And there, and that one refused. Do not despise me because we talk about these things often here. And the life-giving spirit came and spoke with that spirit. And he said in, in, in Revelation, those who have ears, that full person, if you have ears, you know a man have two kind of ears. Ears from that visible part. And even in the spirit have ears. When the spirit speaks, that spirit here, when the, the body speaks, that's the body who hears. When the spirit speaks, that's the body who hears. And that one, we are in the middle, lingering. We, we look for the glory of God. But sometimes I also want to eat. I want the glory of God. But I also want to, to sleep. I want to go to pray. But I am feeling weak. I want to sleep a little bit. You know here there is a conflict. Speak. Speak. Uh, uh, do as if you're talking to her. Do not go to pray. You don't need to go to pray. Don't you know that in prayers, that's where you get your strength? Don't you know that in, your, in, in prayers, that's where you get your strength? So speak at the same moment. You are even ugly. You, you won't go anywhere. You are my child. You are created in my image. So they both speak at the same time and it can be total confusion. 
Don't you <laughs> leave that <laughs> battle. Has you encountered that battle in any time? <laughs> in this battle mine alone. <laughs> While we are still in this battle and this soul is confused. <laughs> oh, he spoke so very well. May God bless our parents. Supernatural power. Supernatural power. There is another strength that comes from the grace of God and come and take that one and tells him you cannot do it by yourself but but, but, but you can speak talking these things are not easy but but, but, but you will receive a strength when the Holy Spirit comes upon you you will receive a strength when the Holy Spirit comes to you you will receive a strength you will be my witness you will be my witness amen Woo! May God bless you. Can you go back? Oh. When you're still confused, when they are still mixing up things for you, the life giving spirit comes and he tells you, you have something in store. That's what he told the disciples. You who are here, there are things in store. Let me just go. When I reach there, you just wait. You just sing with me. You just wait. I will send a strength. I will send a power. surprised them. It came to them. It came to them. And this is that power that can teach, that can train, that can show how you should bring them down into your family. And what is he doing in that time? In the first journey, the first journey will take you to the presence of God. The second journey will show you the battle of man and the temptations and the pain and the way it is not easy. And we're coming into a good path. What are you going to talk about tomorrow? You are full of the power of the Holy Spirit. And he revealed himself to you. And as you go down into the family, things are going to be to practically. Ah, tomorrow we're going to talk practically. And we're going to talk about what happened so that the life giving come and, do, and, and be in the family, arrange things. Do you remember what is bringing him? The God who reconciled himself it's with us you, and child. showed us his glory. And he put that glory in <sighs> us and it is living in us. The Holy Spirit came to dwell in us. We walk with the kingdom of God wherever we are. Tomorrow, he will tell you, go and reconcile me with others. Because you've been reconciling me and you know how you might walk with me. This time, tomorrow you're going to take me to yours. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow, how is that life flowing? Practically. I told you that God told me they are going to flow things that they do not possess. How can they flow it if they do not possess it? Then God told me, hear me and see me first. Know me first. Know my mind. Do not compare me with idols. Do not compare me with your parents. Do not compare me with time and circumstances. Do not compare me with things. If you know my power, after you just get to know my power, you do not stop there. 
but put that power inside of you. Did you know that God is a spirit? There is no spirit that doesn't need a dwelling place. That is why we need the Holy Spirit. He want to use you. He want to use us so that he may show us the people who are full of the, his kingdom and his glory full of the Holy Spirit and uh, not only the speaking in tongues but the Holy Spirit as God I pray that God may put in you that thirst of not only desiring miracles not only desiring the blind to see not only desiring food on the table but, but as you have the spirit you say I want to see your face the miracles will pass and everything will come to pass the prophesying is having an end but there's something that will never end God will never end God you may see that God. Oh, if you could enjoy God and speak like Job that it is done, it is finished. But I still have my God. You would say that everything can go. And you would say even if the vine do not produce fruits, even if but there is something that I remain with. take everything else, but you cannot take away my God. When you have God, you have everything. The one who have God have life. He said the one who have the Son have life. I pray that God and the Spirit of God to come down and come into your problems and come and manifest himself to you. And that time Solomon after he has seen the glory of God when the whole temple was full of his presence I remember this just chapter 7 Second Chronicles from the first verse that where he talked about that fire coming down it's because I repeated the verse 14 <laughs> Sabe, you still have a job to do. Oh God. When Solomon saw the glory of God and the priest couldn't stand and the people who were there when they just saw when they just saw the glory of God they were filled with joy they were filled with joy they were filled with joy even when the adults were still there even when the husband had not changed yet when they didn't have children yet they were full of joy the Bible says they went home happy they went on dancing and happy if those, those who meet them would ask them and say my sisters people are really crazy why is this one laughing and her shoe is and that one doesn't even have a husband what is rejoicing her heart but they went back home happy and God saw all of this and because they had him and they had seen him he came in the night and came close to Solomon and told him all the prayers that will be prayed on in this house I will hear those prayers Hallelujah. and my ears will be open to the prayers prayed in this place. I will remain here. I will not leave this place. I will not leave this place. 
If God come and tells you I will not leave your place and tells you I'm not leaving your place, how will you feel? And even if I close the sky and I say the window rain or no you. I will. Even if I have said that you never be married, but in this house, in this house, in this house, I will hear, I will do, I will be there, I will change. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? I have started to prophesy in this house, in this house, I will come, I will do, I will talk. Stand up. Stand up and just wave. I will come. I, I will do. Do you remember her? I will come. I will do. I will come. I will come. Stand up and then I will tell you. He will come. And he will come. And he will do. He will come. He will do. He will come. And he will do. I say he will come. And he will do. All the prayers that are prayed in this house, I heard them. All the prayers that are prayed in this house. Azaza. He will come. Azaza. He will come. Are you not even seeing the connection that I have? Azaza. He will come. Azakor. He will do. Azaza. He will come. Azakor. And he will do. Azaza. He will come. Azakor. And he will do. Amen. Amen. God told me we have got a new to show so that people will not laugh at us if it doesn't happen. And, and he told me, but you, you pray, but me I do. Those who did not happen, it is not your fault. Leave. The things that are not yet done do not concern you. Stop that pride. He said, remove that pride. I am the one who heals. I am the one who delivers. Allow me that I heal you. That is why I say uh, diabetes that is here, cancer that is here, AIDS that is here, anything that I don't know a name, this is the door. Get out! Get out. Are you Now get out! I said get out. If you Speaking in Rwanda, get out. So okay. if you hear what I am saying, I am giving this microphone to Mami, and you are going to stand and praise God for your healing, for your deliverance. For something that happened. Oh, come and praise God for something happened. And I take my hands of the 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 hands This has come to be accomplished in your life. You be here or online. If you are connected to this house, may you receive it. Hallelujah.